Whoa, this game is fun! Okay, this is starting to get old now. Does the gameplay ever change? I don't want to play anymore. You better keep playing, nigga, or me and my Illuminati buddies will dropkick you in the fucking chest, you fucking bitch. SpongeBob walks to the Krusty Krab expecting a normal day, but him and his friends that come out of nowhere see evil Krabby Patties and spatulas wrecking havoc in the Krusty Krab, which is followed by... Coming out of nowhere to tell SpongeBob and his friends about someone using the last page of a magic book to make weird things happen. Then they all turn into their superhero forms from the movie for a short period of time. Bubbles is that same Illuminati dolphin from the movie. He proceeds with telling them that they need to find the lost pages to stop weird things from happening. Yeah, Illuminati. The story doesn't tie in with the plot of the movie, and instead the game has its own storyline, with inspiration of the movie storyline, which can be seen as a good thing or a bad thing. The story throughout the game isn't that interesting, and chances are you won't really care about it as you play through the game, as the game feels more of a sequel to Plankton's Robotic Revenge than a video game based off the movie. The game is literally a carbon copy of Plankton's Robotic Revenge. I've played and beat this game on both the PlayStation Vita and Xbox 360. It doesn't matter which platform you play it on, they're all the same, aside from the co-op exclusive to the Xbox 360 version, which by the way doesn't make it that much better. If you thought Plankton's Robotic Revenge was bad, man this game is even worse. I didn't think that game could possibly get any worse. Remember Sonic Boom? Yeah, this game is worse than that. There are so many things wrong with this game, I don't even know where to start. When you start up the game, you see a very similar layout to Plankton's Robotic Revenge. You get 15 levels of uninteresting gameplay, AGAIN. When I began the first level, I started to enjoy it at first, but I quickly realized I was ripped off by Activision once again. Remember the sprockets in Plankton's Robotic Revenge that were taken straight from Ratchet and Clank and were used for upgrades? The coins you collect in this game do the exact same thing. Talk about originality. As you run around, you can see that the characters have the exact same facial expression no matter what you do. Yes, the developers were even too lazy to animate faces. And you got fucking Patrick running around like he has a dick up his ass. Behavior Interactive thought they were slick because all they did was take robotic revenge and replace the guns with superpowers so you can use them for a short period of time. Add a few hidden collectibles that are very easy to find, I will admit, and have the background change every five levels. AGAIN! Collecting these lost pages and statues don't change anything. It's the same fucking game. The camera in this game is a pain in the fucking ass. It's completely fixed, so it moves by itself and you have no control over where it goes. And this is especially a problem where there are sections on the Xbox 360 version where you have to plug in another fucking controller just to get a collectible. Whose dumb idea was that anyway? Did I mention that the game lags too fucking much? The cutscenes even lag. When do cutscenes lag in a video game? It doesn't even matter if they're in-game, cinematic, or those shitty cutscenes that appear when you turn into a superhero. Seriously, what the fuck? The game runs in 60 frames per second on Xbox, but the frame rate constantly drops for no reason. It actually drops on the Vita and 3DS as well. It's kind of, it's kind of bad. It just when there's two enemies on the screen at once, it just drops. It looks terrible, and you can just see that there wasn't that much time or effort put into this game. And that alone really annoys me. I mean, Battle for Bikini Bottom in a movie game had so much time and effort put into them. And just look at these glitches, just look at them. The shadow detection is even fucked up. Who messes up the shadows? Come on man, this is basic. 
You can clearly see that this is a rust piece of dog shit. One of my biggest problems with this game is the enemies in combat. Yes, the combat is even fucked up. The melee is literally just swish wash, swish wash, swish wash, or throwing a nasty patty. It's so generic, it's so simple, it's so easy. Just spam the fucking button and you'll do just fine. Trust me. The superhero ability hardly changes anything. You just move and jump faster and have a modified attack moves. That's really it. I mean, it's just so generic. The enemies are as basic as they can get. They're all just inanimate objects just attacking you. To make matters worse, some of the robots from Robotic Revenge are back in this game. And I really don't understand why. And it's like this game is not even a movie game. It's like it's just a sequel. Oh, you guys are really gonna love this one. There's only one boss fight in this game. And guess what? It's a fucking robot from Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Guess what? They recycled that too. Are you fucking stupid? What gives, Plankton? I thought you and your buds were on our side now. I thought so too. This one's gone haywire. Let's give this bot a reboot. Yes, the game makes references to Robotic Revenge instead of being a movie tie-in like it should be. The soundtrack, oh my god. I've never had a game where I had to turn the music volume all the way down because I couldn't stand the in-game music. The in-game music is taken from Robotic Revenge and the TV show. It's mostly just stock Spongebob music. It's nothing creative, nothing engaging, it's nothing good. There is no creativity in the soundtrack whatsoever. They'll play the same boring music over and over again just to piss you off. Yeah, so as you can see here, the game is nothing but a poorly optimized piece of recycled bullshit. Recycle! 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 It's honestly pretty hard to enjoy this game because the characters never shut up. Because they always keep spewing the same generic lines over and over. The gameplay never changes and you're just doing the same thing for two or three hours and once you beat the game there's no point in going back. The game tries to convince you to beat the game 100% but guess what? All you get from doing that is a secret ending of Bubbles breakdancing. Wow, I wonder how many people it took to come up with that bullshit. It's a sad excuse to get people to backtrack. This game is so broken, boring, and overall one of the worst Spongebob games ever made, at least for console. I'm honestly losing hope for this franchise. The game was put into the wrong hands, and this game could have been 10 times better if Heavy Iron were able to make it. Heavy Iron literally went straight up to Activision to ask if they can make a movie tie-in, and Activision just rejects them so they can save money. Activision, you need to understand that creating junk like this doesn't sell. I don't care what the Spongebob fanboys say. The game is easy, and it looks like it was only in development for a few months. Even kids don't like this shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, do you guys see the visuals in this game? This does not look like a game that was made in 2015. The game looks like a PS2 game. But seriously, what makes this game even more pathetic is that if you plug Battle for Bikini Bottom in your PS2, you can clearly see that that game has better graphics and character models than this game. And Battle for Bikini Bottom is not even in HD. It was made in 2003, damn near 12 years ago, and it still looks better than this game. What the fuck? This game is in native HD, and it still looks like shit. It makes no fucking sense at all. And it just shows how stupid developers can be nowadays. That goes for show that a game that wasn't made with the heart and passion of Heavy Iron Studios will still be shit at the end of the day, no matter what.
I'm going to be completely honest with you. I had fun with this game, but just it was just very short term. It's like a relationship when you're a teenager. It just doesn't last. It might be fun for naive little children, but trust me, it won't be fun for too long, even for them. And when those kids grow up, they won't give a single fuck about this game anymore because the game is shit. You hear me? It's shit. It's not like how we all feel about Battle for Bikini Bottom in a movie game. It's not something you're going to want to play 10 years later because it's simply not good. It's not a form of art. Most kids play games like Call of Duty anyway, so if the grown-ups and teenagers that grew up with Spongebob and still like Spongebob to this day don't like this piece of shovelware, it will not sell. Period. So, bottom line, is this game worth it? No, fuck this game. It's one of the worst games of the year. I give this game a proud 3 out of 10 with a side of Kelpo. I'm sorry, I just can't find enough pros about this game. Since its poor optimization and boring gameplay overlaps any form of enjoyment you can get out of this game. Remember, just because I don't like this game doesn't mean you can't go out and purchase this game yourself. So keep that in mind before you start crying in the comments section like you were bottle fed. Also, for those of you that think I'm just a grown man sitting on my ass playing Spongebob, I'm only fucking 18, goddamn. I want you to keep this in mind. I grew up with Spongebob games that are some of the most fun games I've ever played made by a company that cares about their fan base. And I only want the kids that grow up in this generation to experience that instead of generic cash-ins like this. Games that they won't even care about when they grow up. I also don't want you guys wasting money on this when you probably won't even like it. If you do, that's perfectly fine. It's all good. It's just a video game. I don't care if you like it. You can like it if you want. I mean, it doesn't bother me. My opinion is not fact, and yours isn't either. Just remember, if you think there's anything wrong with playing Spongebob games when you're not a young child, keep in mind the games are... Rated E for everyone. I'm living extra large. I said extra large.